I have been back in New York City the past two weeks, spending time with family and loved ones, doing the yearly pilgrimage. I am so happy I got to drop in with one of my best friends, Diana, and I wanted to share with you our morning routine and how you can really stick to those rituals that make you feel good even when you're with other people. So most mornings I got out of bed before Dee and went into the living room to do my own practice and give her the space to do hers. It's been an unspoken thing for us the whole time we've known each other that we both have some moments of solitude in the morning and the first two hours of the day we don't really acknowledge each other's existence or talk at all because we're both just really sensitive so we can be quiet with each other which is such a form of intimacy to me but I did some yin yoga this morning I love doing hip openers spine extension poses twists and forward folds these are all really grounding poses that you can add into your practice and just give yourself the medicine that you need. I focus on my breath and moving slowly. Something my yoga teacher would always tell me is yoga is chitta vritti nirodha, which is to still the fluctuations of the mind. So it's not just about the asana, but the state of meditation after. And I follow up with breath work. I love having a daily prayer practice. It's something that makes me feel so close to spirit and to all the many blessings that align themselves onto my path it fills me up so much so uh, I just pray and speak out my blessings and cast love upon everyone that I know now it took me a while to transition to having a kindle because I love having a physical book in my hand the smell of it the feel of it the sound of turning the pages but now that I have a kindle I really appreciate being able to get any book at a whim's notice and collect all of my notes on it but I have been in between the parallel series by Elizabeth O'Rourke and come as you are by Emily Nagoski and I highly recommend both of those books it's so nice to escape into a fantasy world in the winter time and have just a little parallel universe to draw from but on the mornings that Dee and I do stay in bed and cuddle it looks something like this the gum is so small I guess mine is <laughs> I feel like it just reminds me of the possibility of everything like because of almost how fake it all feels Mm -hmm. I just remember not to take it too serious. You know, I was listening to a Rob Dawes podcast and he's like, if someone kills me, that's their karma, not mine. So I'm not worried about <laughs> oh it. Oh my god, that's no, all he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> if you're still at the place where you're capable of being judged by me, then we're not ready to work together. If you're still at the place where mm. you think I'm intentionally trying to hurt you, then we're not ready to work together. Whoa. And I love that so much. That's the biggest lesson of the season it's just everything is neutral information because life isn't about being pleasant for everyone <laughs> no <laughs> okay let's do <laughs> I love making curated herbal teas for myself in the morning depending on what my needs are. It always makes me feel like a little alchemist and this morning I made a mixture of marshmallow root, mullein, and peppermint. I'm also a huge fan of the classic lemon, ginger, agave with a little bit of cayenne, especially in the winter time, but I was feeling a little bit congested so I added this lung decongestant tincture which is really good. Sometimes I'll add echinacea to my teas and just make myself a really earthy tonic and lately I haven't been sweetening them either because I just love the taste of the earth and um, I also love sharing my morning practice with Dee whenever it feels right just stretching and playing and being able to share our intention together especially chanting this is one of my favorite ways to connect with people is just to open our throats open up our voice and if you feel like you struggle to speak your boundaries to speak up for yourself to feel confident in your voice i highly recommend inviting some vocal toning or some chanting into your daily practice and not only is it helpful for that activating your throat and your voice 
voice, but it's also great to activate the parasympathetic nervous system as you're using your entire exhale to make these sounds. So it's really lovely to meditate after that. And anytime there's any bit of nature greenery of some form in New York, it's just really lovely to gawk at it and we spent many many hours just sitting out of her window looking at these trees and pulling tarot cards you know just art ho things i wanted to do a little thrift haul for you because i've been wearing some warmer layers some fun fall items and today's video is sponsored by thread up which is one of my favorite places if not my favorite place to shop for clothing anytime that i'm looking for something specific the first place i go is thread up because it's so easy to find specific pieces you can implement your sizes and the color of something i will always try to buy it secondhand first instead of purchasing something that is just adding another product to this environment when there's already so much here so much clothes ends up in landfills so for me it's a really simple swap when there are sites like ThreadUp that make clothes more affordable and accessible. I used to spend hours in overpriced thrift stores and I'm just so happy that there's an easier way to shop secondhand now and ThreadUp is just full of thousands of brands that you know and probably used to love when you shopped fast fashion but you can still be curious about trends and get really warm, comfy, and stylish pieces at a discounted rate secondhand give these pieces new life and oh the top that i'm wearing right now is an obsession of mine i love it i don't want to take it off this reformation top was originally around 180 dollars but i got it on thread up for 61. the next piece is by the brand zara this is so wholesome i love the embroidery i love how comfortable this is and i'm going to be honest in the fall and winter the most realistic thing that i'm going to spend my time doing is laying around inside, doing things inside, just wanting to be comfortable. This wears like a pajama, but looks like a normal blouse that you can wear out and about. And I love layering these with turtlenecks underneath and with different textures like corduroy pants. This Zara top was originally around $32, but I found it on ThreadUp for $14.38. I love a really tight, flattering turtleneck because it's warm and cozy, but it's still kind of form-fitting. I just love earthy tones, like any natural, earthy colors are going to style easily with everything else in my closet. My new favorite basic was originally around $57, but I found it on ThreadUp for $16.25. Next, I got this skirt, which is so beautiful. The quality is impeccable. It's actually really warm. It's like a cloak for my legs around this time of year, and I love the buttons going all the way down. This skirt is by Creative Genius. I got it on ThreadUp for $22, but it was originally around $62. This really reminds me of an equestrian riding coat of some sort, the quilting and the big pockets, but it also reminds me of what I'll be wearing in my future, according to my manifestation board, and I'll be wearing some rain boots with it, and walking around my farm, harvesting some tomatoes. It's really beautiful to me, and I just see a lot of potential in it. This jacket was originally $191, but I found it on ThreadUp for $34. J'adore, and those are just some things that I thrifted lately. If you would like to get $10 off any purchase of $50 or more and free shipping on ThreadUp, use my code Hitomi. You can click the link down below and shop secondhand this season. For breakfast, we started off by sauteing some garlic in coconut oil, then added in broccoli and cherry tomatoes, which really adds a lot of flavor to any kind of sauteed vegetables. I highly recommend, as well as playing music and blessing up your food with your presence and your joy and your laughter. Even if you're alone, just filling your body with joy as you prepare food for yourself. Leftover mac and cheese that yeah. Dee made. He makes the best mac and cheese, like, three years strong. <laughs> the recipe has changed, but I think it keeps getting better and better. Just like you. The recipe keeps evolving. Oh my god, you what? You should tell them what you said. I can do anything to you and that if you <laughs> Dee can do anything to fuck me over, betray me, just not be nice, but if she made me this, I would cook it everything. <laughs> And this is the first meal of the day. Oh, it's kind of hard, huh? Yeah. Maybe add some water when we heat it up. <laughs> but I love savory breakfast, and I was planning on eating this all night. <laughs> you had it in your mind. Yeah, I was ready. This is our breakfast. Can you see it? 
So these greens are so delicious. And then we have the mac and cheese, hot sauce, nutritional yeast, extra, just extra everything, extra flavor. It's delicious. And we put in tomatoes into the greens halfway. That was a good idea. You like it? Yeah, I can Yay. taste the splash. Fuck yeah. It's a little tangy. One of the newest parts of my morning routine is committing to an art practice. Every single day I decided that I want to make something original of my own with any medium. So even if it's just a single sentence that feels true to me, I want to face myself and have the courage to make art even if I'm bad at it or a lot of internal judgments come up and I never show anyone what I make. I just want to commit to having the courage to create and express myself artistically. And so I've been journaling a lot but other mornings I'll do still lives which feel really calming and grounding to me. I finally got around to brushing my hair which is not a daily occurrence I must tell you. I'm going to attempt something like this. I have some twine so let's see how it goes. Middle part, get my little bangs out which I have to admit I did not do a good job cutting my hair this last time around. I cut my hair once a year and the layers were not spaced out very well so I'm just kind of waiting for it to grow out but I do like a disheveled look. In fact if I can find it here's a photo of what my bangs looked like when I was younger. Extremely uneven because my mom would cut them for me and it's just been a lifelong prophecy of me having bad at-home haircuts, but I don't really mind. And then I'm going to add the twine in. I have extremely fine hair, so it's uh, hitting a little different. Forcing myself to do interesting things with my appearance and hair specifically has been a form of self-care and self-love because it is just a form of expression. Just like any of my art practices, it helps me to go beyond myself and my comfort zone and find a new appreciation for what I'm capable of doing or embodying in any way. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. Mornings are sacred, but honestly, you can anchor intention into any part of your day and nighttime routines are also quite lovely. It doesn't have to look aesthetic. The lighting doesn't have to be great. You can light a candle and have that be your anchoring ritual. That's really what any of my morning routine videos are, are just these moments of pause where I can take inventory of what's going on inside and outside and uh, maybe choose a new story if that's what I need to do or bring some more intention to my breath and to the state of my body and beingness. So whatever that looks like to you, I hope you take some deep belly breaths, send out some prayers to your past, present, and future. Until I see you next, I'm bowing down to you with so much gratitude. Thank you for being on this journey with me and I'll see you soon. Bye! Oh, don't forget if you would like to get 30% off your first order on ThreadUp and free shipping, you can use my code Hitomi, click my link down below. I got it wrong the first time, but 30% off, it's great. Find some beautiful new pieces. Okay, peace.